Super exciting day for our mighty cluckers. <laughs> our chickens have been cooped up in their pen all winter, and they are not happy about it. No. Matter of fact, they've been on an egg strike. Yeah, their egg production has come down quite a bit, even though we keep a light on during the day. So today is bird release day. But first, it's the clipping. Ah. <laughs> What I like to do when I first grab them, I like to pet them right down here so they get to eat, like to get used to me, and okay. then they won't run off. There you go. haven't been out here for more than 10 minutes and look at what they found an old piston and a bottle of nail polish Ooh, that's definitely these, your color baby these two don't go together <laughs> okay kids and chores um, a lot of people ask us about kids and chores uh, you guys see the videos you see that our kids are uh, out there shoveling they're helping with the animals they're they're doing this the yada yada and yet be skippy right so um, People ask us, you know, well, do they get dun, 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 an allowance? No. We don't pay our, chore, pay our chores. We don't we pay, don't our, pay children our children to do chores. Uh, we don't pay them to clean their room mm -hmm. or... Help out with dishes? No. Um, each child has a lot of responsibility that we uh, work with them on. Mm-hmm. Uh, and we'll tell you why here in just a minute. There's an actual rhyme to a reason. It's not just madness. Um, although there's a healthy amount of that in there, too. Yes. Uh, but the kids, like, they help around the farm. They do things like take out the trash and if we need something. Like the, ex the other day, uh, the snow had piled up so high that we needed uh, the electric fence dug out so that it was effective. Well... They helped dig. It was all, all of us. We were all out there digging. Mm -hmm. uh, and they don't get paid for that. No. They don't get um, a weekly stipend to have the privilege of living here with us. <laughs> no. No. They are our children, and we are teaching them how to be responsible adults. adults. You know, you're not We're just not raising, raising kids. kids. No, you're raising children adults. to be effective responsible adults, which is kind of hard to find. <gasps> well, that's a whole nother topic. Right. <laughs> uh, and so a lot of us, you know, who are in a more self-reliant lifestyle, the folks that are out there homesteading or have a farm or have a garden or have this or that, where you do require more effort, mm -hmm. um, they, it, it just kind of comes naturally to you uh, but the kids nowadays, most kids nowadays uh, socially uh, have the phone <laughs> and they're, it's actually physically connected to their face where it would have to be surgically removed. Um, our kids are not like that. No. They have access to tech. They have access to computers and phones and stuff like that. But we feel it's very disrespectful mm -hmm. to do that all the time and, and besides it's not productive no I mean if they're doing homework that's something completely different but just to be on there on you know any kind of social media or anything is no too much is too much right 
so, but going back, our kids do chores, and it's not just because we want them to help out. It's it's learning things like responsibility. Mm -hmm. If I don't take care of that animal, who's gonna? Right. And that's teaching them life lessons mm -hmm. that are going to be valuable for them when they have families, or even when they're out on their own. Like, if I do X plus Y, it's going to equal blah. And so, you know, having that responsibility of taking care of an animal or or making sure its pen is clean or else that animal's gonna get sick. Um, all of those things are lifelong lessons, but a lot of folks ask us, well, what about the money side of it? How are you teaching them how to be you know, uh, good stewards of their money when they don't have a whole lot to, uh, to have access to? Well, um, they do have ability to earn extra money. Yes, they have, um, we have over and above regular daily and weekly chores that you know are you know, extra extra and they get a small stipend or allowance for those so for example um if i ask jonathan hey i need you to go clean out the pig pen today that's your your chore mm -hmm. then he'll that's part of living here mm -hmm. uh, and being responsible and learning all those things. Learning hard work, that's mm -hmm. huge. Right. Learning how to work without complaining, oh, yeah. that's huge. Mm -hmm. But then if he wants to uh, you know, earn money to go to the movies or whatever, we can easily say, well, if you want, you know, you want 30 bucks, well, I'm gonna need you to do X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. And then, okay, that's fine. Right. Uh, they also get money from, you know, relatives as gifts. For so, birthdays and things like that, yeah. Yeah, and that way, then we're teaching budgeting, mm -hmm. we're teaching money management, savings, mm -hmm. tithing. Mm -hmm. That's a huge one. That's a huge one, yeah. Because we found that a lot of people, if you don't set up those, if you don't set up that mentality of this is how I need to approach money, the second they get out of the house, they crash and burn with credit cards and I bought this thing and it just broke and then, and then now I'm owing on this car that I can't even drive. Right, and then they have no money for food, and they're calling mom saying, hey, mom, I need money for food. I can't eat because I have this, this, and this credit card debt. And they've blown it. Right. Uh, and another thing that we don't do is we won't continue to buy cars if they smash them. Right. We'll help you with the first one, but help is the operative term. You know, it, it's like if we have extra money and we can we can help invest in something that they pay it back mm -hmm. that's teaching responsibility that's right. teaching i have to take care of this mm -hmm. that's teaching budgeting that's teaching long-term planning right responsibility is huge and so as harsh as it may sound to some folks out there we think that giving kids money just because they're in your house is absolutely silly right. it's just silly all that is is a gimme, and then I don't really have to do anything for it. I don't, I'm just here. Okay, an example. Some folks that we have spoken to pay their children to clean their own bedroom. Who made this big Wait, mess? Wait, exactly. Who made the mess, and why should I have to pay you to clean up your mess? Mm -hmm. How is that going to translate to them as an adult when they are out on their own? Well, wait, who's paying me to clean my own room? Oh. Sorry, no. You made the mess, it's your room, you need to be responsible for it. What's gonna happen when they have their own house? Yahtzee. Sorry, that's one of those things that I get really fired up about. She does, and, <laughs> <laughs> and so, the thing is this, is to answer the question, no, we don't pay our kids a salary just to live here. And no, we don't, we don't pay for every chore. We pay for some chores if it's over and above regular stuff. Right. And one thing that we're not mentioning too is they are encouraged to go out there and earn their own money from entrepreneurial things mm -hmm. and working you know, summer jobs and taking on paper routes. Yep. And all of that kind of stuff, they do those things. Mm -hmm. And uh, that benefits them even more greatly because they can understand the value of a dollar so that when they go to the store and they've got, you know, 20 bucks in hand and they go, can I buy this, this or this? And, and what I do always, they, this really gets under my, <laughs> my eldest son's 
uh, skin. I'm gonna, I'll ask him, I'll say, okay, so uh, you got 30 bucks to spend, right? Yes. And how much money are you making per hour at the job you're at? <laughs> I'm making $8 an hour or $10. Let's round up just for easy. $10 an hour. So then I, then I said, well, okay, this toy that you want to buy, this trinket, this thing you want to buy is $30 and you have $30. Yes. Yes. I got it. Well then is it worth three hours of your backbreaking labor to have that trinket? Mm -hmm. And then they go, I never really thought of it that way. No, it's not. No. And nine times out of 10, if you just get them to think, mm -hmm. they'll make the right choice. <laughs> right. Right. And you know, it goes along going to the store goes along with the curriculum that we use, you know, and okay. For homeschooling. For homeschooling, yes. Um, you know, I'm talking to the girls about, okay, this one, this particular package of, it's a one pound package of apples, just say that, and it's $4. That's ridiculous, but, and then there's another package that's five pounds of apples for $4. Which one's a better deal? And they come up with their own conclusion of, the one that's five pounds or whatever, the heavier one for the same amount of money as the one pound. So it's, you know, it's those thinking skills on what's what. Well, and obviously that's a very basic early oh, math, you know, yes, uh, yes. thing. But that goes through the whole gamut. And when mm -hmm. we start teaching kids about long-term planning, mm -hmm. uh, well, okay, then that means I can't take my paycheck that I work 30 hours for and blow it all on video games. Right. No, that's not going to work. You'll no. never own anything of value. Right. You're going to just blow it away. Yes, thank you. So there it is. There's the answer to the question. Uh, if you think that you've got a good solution or a good suggestion, leave it down below. Keep it clean, though, because I know how people can get passionate about their parenting skills. So anyway, there you have it. I don't know, dude. Everything's thawing out pretty good. You want to have soggy, soggy boots? Uh-oh, he goes further out. One step. Oh, no. Look out. I hear the cracking. Ah! Now, what exactly have you got going on here? I see you got your muck boots. You got a chair and a cat. Yeah. That's it? That me, Hope, and Ruth. I'm playing a game. Okay. Uh, does your game involve Jonathan on a child's bike? No. This doesn't look like a good idea, because over here what we got is Caleb on roller skates. Roller blades. And I was... On the inclined thing. And I... Something tells me that this is not going to be good. No. No. Now, one of the super cool, way, way, way abundant resources here in Wisconsin is maple. Maple trees, maple syrup, these trees are everywhere and they provide pretty much local free sugar for those who want to go out into the woods and do the work. They, what they do is they take and drill a hole into one of these trees and they put a little metal spigot almost and then they hang a bag on there generally. I mean some of the bigger operations have vacuums and they run lines but they basically will gather that sap and then they boil it down into maple syrup. And what a cool way for you to get pretty much free sugar with only just a little bit of labor. So yet another reason why Wisconsin is very, very cool.